Oh, one more thing. Timmy is also allergic to warmth. Could you just serve the ingredients raw? He's allergic to warmth? Maybe you shouldn't have bothered naming him because you're only going to get attached. What's up guys and welcome back to Job Simulator. Now for the past few episodes I've been taking on jobs that I'm pretty comfortable with. Right, I have some experience, I've done plenty of shopping and convenience stores, I've done a little bit of office work, but for today's episode I am going to become a gourmet chef. And I have never cooked something gourmet in my life. I think the most gourmet thing that I've ever eaten was spaghetti in a pot rather than out of the can. So... This should go great. What are the odds that we would get lucky and not have to actually deal with Hello, Jobbot Julie. again? This is an accurate simulation of Gourmet Chef. Are you sure about that? <laughs> this is gourmet. It looks like an Applebee's. Maybe we could just lean out a little bit and see what's going on. No shirt, no shoes, no problem. I guess that makes sense. You really only wear a tie and a pocket protector like a loser. I should probably mention that I am super excited for this job because I have not seen any of it before. Like, I've seen little bits and pieces of the first few jobs that I did because Job Simulator was a super popular game, so it was kind of unavoidable, but I have no idea what to expect here. So I'm guessing if I want to get cooking Chef Human, I need to take an order? Is that we'll right? start by making some breakfast. Turn on the grill and let's get frying. Okay, turn on the grill. So we have a sink, a microwave, Sandwich. Sink, microwave, sandwich, blender, toaster. One of these things is not like the other. Uh, we have a pot and a grill, but you want me to turn on... What? That was a test. I know exactly what I'm doing, okay? I'm not confused at all, but you're telling me to do things in the wrong order, okay? There's a reason we have a B for barely passable on the health and safety training, because I showed up to work, and you haven't made me wash my hands yet. You have any idea what I do with these hands? Terrible, unspeakable things. <laughs> There's a reason that I'm always wearing gloves. So we're just gonna get a little soap. There we go. You wouldn't know. You don't have hands, stupid. And then we're just gonna wash them off. Yeah, we'll, we'll have an A in no time. And then he wanted me to turn on my grill. There we go. Even though humans spend the entire night in a state of low power consumption, they still require food energy as soon as they wake up. Bacon and eggs provide a high energy taste ratio. Okay. Bacon and eggs, high energy taste ratio. Now you're speaking my language. Very gourmet bacon and eggs. This is not what I expected. Uh, where do we keep the bacon and eggs? I only have a sandwich option. I don't have a bacon option. <laughs> is it a bacon sandwich? I need to see what this is. Is it just a giant sandwich? Oh, it's like a sandwich stacker. Okay, well, we'll stick with sink for now. Am I being timed? Hopefully not. Can we get some tunes in here or what? No? Couldn't afford tunes? Hold your outrage, we dug deep, we got a single CD of This Is Totally Disco. Funky outdated music mix. Yeah, you know what, I think that's a hard pass. Okay, bacon and eggs. Let's see here, uh, I would assume... Oh... Okay. Yeah, fresh ingredients, Gordon Ramsay will be pleased. We need one egg. That doesn't look like a chicken egg. Uh, okay, no, just don't ask questions, it's fine, don't worry about it, we're just gonna... Skaboosh! Nailed it! <laughs> Little bit of shell never hurt anybody, right? Yeah, you see, that doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> and then bacon would be up here? Yeah, okay, we can just uh, get out of the way. Ooh, I need... that one's getting pretty well done. Oh, 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 don't okay. Worry. We'll serve it anyway. You say so. Not my breakfast. Now put your creations on the plate and you can ring the bell to send it out to the restaurant. When is it done? Oh, I think it's I think it's done. I think it's done. Yeah, that, that's probably done. He's a robot. He'll never know. Is that it? Is he even going to eat it? I mean, if he didn't, I wouldn't really blame him. <laughs> but one thing that concerns me is this clock. 
because I'm starting to think you're trying to jip me out of time. This thing keeps resetting, okay? It's gone back to exactly 9 a.m. like five times now. We're at 9, 9.03, okay? If that's 9 o'clock again at some point, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna call a union, I'm gonna call the fish, I'm gonna call waiter bot, we're all gonna get together, we're just gonna pick it, riot, I don't know, something. Next customer, what do you got for me? The smoothie is one of the most efficient forms of human food. Simply take some of your inefficient solid food and put it through the blender. Okay, gourmet smoothie sounds easy enough, so we can just switch to the blender. Yeah, I think that's done, okay, well they can get that, ooh, okay. Just anything. Don't have any recipe or anything like that. Just put stuff in. All right. Uh, how about bread? Like bread in your smoothie? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Hold, hold on, hold. I don't know if that worked. Oh, oh, will it blend? I'm gonna say maybe. Uh, I, I think I broke it. It is vibrating at a dangerous frequency. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like at a moment's notice, it is just going to shatter. Okay, um, what else can we put in there? What goes good with bread? Tomatoes go good with bread. Tomatoes go good with everything. Oh, careful. Here we go. Careful. Okay, it's, it's, it's vibrating everything else now. I think that's good enough. Can you please close? Oh, you're freaking me out. All right, that, that's got to be good, right? Looks good. Pour it out into a cup and then we can serve it. Was there a top for this or am I just stupid? <laughs> what? Oh, we do have cups. Okay. We, we got cups. Here we go. We can just put that there. Uh, Is that enough? That's probably not enough. Oh, God, okay, if this thing explodes, tell my children I love them. Ooh, ooh, okay, ooh, ooh, okay, okay, careful. Ooh. We're good. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Seriously, though, is there not a top to this thing? There, there should be a top, or I'm just gonna keep losing stuff. Maybe I could just use bread as a top? If I just kind of do this. There we go, how about, okay. Good enough. You. <laughs> it's just liquid bread. I mean, it seems fine. Yeah, we'll just say that's fine. Order up. Oh yeah, she'll love that. Morbid curiosity has me asking, will it blend? We just put that there. And just gently, gently. Okay, maybe. We, whoop. Um. Huh. Order window. Please don't spit in food. <laughs> Listen, you're not my boss, okay? I'm gonna do whatever I want in my gourmet restaurant. It's back to nine o'clock again. You're jipping me out of time. Hello, human. Uh, might I trouble you for some tea and crumpets? Tea is a traditional human beverage consisting of heated water and flavor. Let's begin with heating some water using a kettle. Okay. Yeah, I know how to make tea, dude. That's not my concern right now. I've been here for like eight minutes, but apparently this is my very first job. Oh, I'm. Uh, we're, we're gonna strike soon, just you wait. Gourmet tea and crumpets. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. With the Kettle 2000, so does it just go... Air? I guess then I would need water first. Why didn't they just shorten it to trumpets? Right, tea and crumpets make trumpets. It would make so much more sense. <laughs> Maybe I can ask old English bot at some point. I should have grabbed his hat to see if I could blend it. That would have been a great idea. So now if you go there, that good? Oh yeah, okay, we're going. So I'm just gonna wait and then probably put the tea bag in the cup. You know what? You can have a fancy mug. How about like that? Most beverages, tea is best optimized for consumption by being placed in a cup. Yes, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thank you, Jobbot. Let's just uh, put that in there. Okay, I made Similar tea. tea. Prompets also require heat. Why can't I splash you with boiling hot water? This game is just unplayable. 
So if I want to get the dry part of trumpets, I need to switch to the not cold. Whoa. Oh, okay. Interesting. We got potatoes and avocados, corn. Good to know. I can make some awesome smoothies with this stuff. To cook flat items, humans use devices called toaster. I need two of them. And the toaster. Okay, toaster. Makes a whole lot of sense. Um, my hand. Th thank you. <laughs> Lost a hand there for a second. <laughs> you guys could just go in there and boop. Oh, oh God. No, no, not again. I'm going to blow this place up at some point. Mmm, <laughs> that's, that's fine, right? That's, that's probably fine. So he'll never notice. We're just going to give him the world's most average worker. This is my mug. Oh, I guess he kind of deserves it. All right, order up. There we go. He left the tea bag. I don't want it. Here, maybe I can just... Eh. Close enough. I swear to God, if you charge me for this chocolate chip cookie, I'm going to spit in every meal that I make for the rest of this episode. <laughs> and this one too, okay? They're both complimentary. Now give me another customer. Let's try making some soup. As you can see, there are several different kinds we could make, but they all start with putting some water in the pot. I mean several different kinds. Like you haven't given me any ingredients. I'm just doing whatever I please. I'm gonna make bread soup. So we have that. How do I put water into it? Yeah, I know how sinks work. Can I, I can't pick this up. Really? You want me to like spoon it over because I can't pick up your stupid pot? I'm definitely seeing why we got such a crappy health and safety record. Now that I think about it, this could use just a little something extra. There we go. Okay. We good? I think we're good. Okay, so I could just put, again, whatever I want in, and then we make ourselves soup. So, what do we want our soup to be? I'm thinking uh, chocolate chip cookie and potato. Yeah, those are two things that go together really well. Good. And then just uh, crank her up on max. Oh yeah, that, that's gonna be delicious. Just you wait. I wouldn't wanna let the warm out. So the freaking door, will you stop arguing with me? The hell? Potato and cookie soup. <laughs> okay. I guess we're just serving it in the can. I, what well, the robots, what do they care? Mm, just like Mombot used to make. Your Mombot was an idiot. Wait a minute. Do we have coffee bot porn on the job? This changes everything. I could have been blending this. I don't think I could turn it into a soup, but oh. Oh, this is going to be concerning. Um, yeah, hold on. It's just he needs to vibrate at just, just the right frequency. Hold on, hold on. It'll work. It'll work, right? If the bread works, this'll work. Oh, did that, did that work? I think it worked. We have now blended up coffee bot smut. I would assume that this is going to be delicious. What if we just, uh, mmm, that's the stuff. Nice and pure. Okay. This is how I consume all of my adult material. <laughs> Come on, dude. Can you at least laugh at one of my jokes? God, it's like working with a stupid robot. Next, create a vertical arrangement of organic elements. Humans refer to this as a sandwich. Speaking of stupid robots, okay, sandwich. Yeah, I already saw that one, right? That's the uh, sandwich stacker. Again, can I just do whatever? Just four things. Any four things. I'm thinking bread followed by order slip. No? I don't think that technically counts, but that is, oh, that was pretty freaking impressive. <laughs> can I put cup? Man, you can only use edible stuff. Why do you gotta ruin all my fun, Jabot? What if we do bread, bread, Bread and bread. I think that's good. We're just top it off. 
Beautiful. I'm trying to cut down on gluten, but that looks pretty sandwich. I'm pretty sure this is about as gluten as it gets. <laughs> okay, order up one bread sandwich. Oh, man. Yo, th this restaurant is going under. Okay, we, so far we have served uh, bread everything. I'm kind of curious if there's anything in here that I can't eat. Because it looks like I can eat everything no problem. Right? I'm sure he's not all too pleased about it. But I don't think there's anything in here that makes me sick. Why is there just a flower in here? Weird. Okay, well, we can't eat... What? Am I drinking a tea bag right now? That doesn't seem right. Potatoes are good, and then I should just be able to close you and open you again and magic. Speaking of magic. Huh. Weird. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Stuff just kind of. Reappears. Okay. That's good. More cooking materials for later. I'm sure I'll find a way to serve somebody yes, a CD. Bonjour. Today I brought you a very rare steak. It is a 1984 vintage. I wish to have it prepared. Prepared with what? A flamethrower? I get that the red stuff is supposed to be steak, but what's the green stuff growing on it? And how are you a food critic? What did. And since when do I have control of my thumb? Huh. Why would they put that in the- Okay, no, either way, um... I'm kinda tempted to take a bite out of this. I don't know why. Should I have not done that? <laughs> There's still a little bit left, okay? I'm not throwing up. I, I was morbidly curious again. <laughs> but there's still some left to cook. I'm, I'm sure he'll never notice, right? I'm just gonna turn that on. And then, is that what you want? Yeah, there's not enough heat in the world to make that edible, but. Please, human, do continue. I do wish for it to be well done. Yeah, I can imagine why. Ooh, okay. Ah, yes, quite well done. Now, if you would be so kind as to pair it with your finest vintage grape juice. Oh yeah, I got a perfect one, uh, let me see, right here, the, the one that nobody was chugging out of earlier, completely sanitary. You know what, you can just have the bottle if you really want it. No? We don't do that here, job bot? Okay, cool, whatever, um, I guess we're just gonna pour it in a mug. This is just unacceptable. Très bien, très bien. Please have it delivered out to the restaurant at once. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Before you plate that, did you realize that was famed meat aficionado meat bot? We'd better make sure our service is exceptional. Better slip this on the plate, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not looking to slip money to somebody named meat bot, okay? <laughs> he sounds like he should be starring in one of these, okay? So how about we just give him that instead? Then we'll get real good service. Oh, you're not gonna let me proceed without giving him the dollar, okay? Yeah, this is really gonna change his mind. We can just... Okay. Order up. See if he enjoys that. Starting to kind of regret the fact that I took a bite out of his meal, but again, he, they just kind of sit there, and then... Oh, he's gone. I really do think serving him his juice in a mug was probably the deal breaker there, dummy. You really shouldn't have done that. Holy crap. I did not expect that to explode on your face, dude, okay? I'm sorry, I've got my own limits. Here we go, we can just get another customer. We good? <laughs> Hello, Hello. ma'am. It's my little Timmy Bot's birthday. Can we get some pizza for the kids? Pizza is generally defined as a combination of bread, tomato, and cheese. Chefs would put their own twist on the dish, adding additional food items known as toppings. Let's begin by blending up some homemade tomato sauce. Okay, I see where we're going with this. So we're gonna have a bread, tomato, cheese, probably a CD or two. Yeah, I, I can make that work. Now, does it have to only be tomatoes? Like, could I throw in a little something else? Like, uh, how about some broken glass? Yeah, just just a little bit of broken glass. I'm sure that that'd be good, right? Oh, 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 okay. Delicious. Now apply sauce to bread. <laughs> okay, that went smoothly. 
Now we're just gonna put a little bit of sauce on bread. It's like this. That looks We are awful. almost there. Combining the bread with some cheese in the microwave should fulfill all material requirements. Man, these kids are gonna have a disappointing birthday. Mom, I want to go out for pizza. Okay, dear. Let's go get the gourmet microwave bread. Yeah, that, that'll that be delicious, Mom. I'm so happy right now. Where's my cheese? There we go. Okay, so we're just going to put uh, cheese. Close the door and uh, we turn my balls away from this thing. There we go. Okay. That looks like enough to supply the festivities. Send them off to the dining room. What the hell? What kind of magic microwave is this? You can even see the little speckles of broken glass in there. I'm sure the kids will absolutely love it. Order up. Probably not going to eat it just like everybody else, right? I was kind of hoping that we would have cutlery here so that I could try to microwave that, but I suppose microwaving a CD is proven to be pretty interesting from time to time, so what if I... Uh, what did it do? I think it did anything. Whoa, okay. I don't know what that looks like in 2D, but in VR, that is super trippy. Um, I kind of want to play this now to see what it sounds like after you microwave it. Would it be different? Let's see. You just boop, and then, right, we just do that. No, it's still disco. No, that's good. I don't know. I was kind of hoping it would melt into something better, but I guess that was just a little bit, uh, ridiculous. I forgot to mention, little Timmy is deadly allergic to tomatoes. Could you make a special slice? What do you want instead of sauce on your pizza, Timmy? I want sauce! That sauce! Make me applesauce! Alright. The human will make you some applesauce. Go sit down now. Deathly allergic, huh? How do your kids feel about glass? I'm not gonna lie, there's a non-zero percent chance that Timmy's gonna get more tomato. <laughs> because I really wouldn't mind seeing a little robot child seize out and die. Because they're robots, okay? People are gonna take that the wrong way, out of context. They're floating microwaves. They don't mean anything to me. I just wanna screw with them, so... I'm assuming that this is an apple. Right? Apple-ish? Uh, I don't think plants do that. Yeah, that's definitely not natural. Definitely an apple, though. Okay, hold on. This is tomato sauce, isn't it? Uh, screw it. Close enough, right? There we go. <laughs> and then a little bit of bread. A little bit of that. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Timmy is also allergic to warmth. Could you just serve the ingredients raw? He's allergic to warmth? Maybe you shouldn't have bothered naming him because you're only going to get attached. So you just want a block of cheese on top of your tomato, I mean apple bread, and then that's it? All right. I'm not going to judge. <laughs> Come Eat up, on, Timmy. Timmy. The human made it special for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's tomatoes in here. I can taste it. <laughs> that would be the point where you seize out and die, Timmy. No? Alright, well that was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> Either way, we still stuck it to the customer. I feel good about that. You can keep taking those from me. Screw me, I guess. Oh, hi. Hey, human. Can you help me out here? Oh no. I'm trying to propose to my romantic partner. No, no, no. Be a surprise. Can you hide this ring inside a sandwich or something? That is such a bad idea. Okay. Yeah, sorry, Chief. We're all out of sandwiches. Um, I could hide it in a smoothie. <laughs> Do you think that would work just as well? Oh, this is. Okay, yep. Ooh. 
Interesting. So do we just have infinite gold? Oh yeah, it doesn't matter how much time you screw me out of now. <gasps> we can just keep popping them in there. Get to your sandwich in just a moment, sir. I'm just gonna need about two more, one more ring. There we go. Perfect. So that's my life savings in a blender. Let's just uh, put that away. We're gonna switch on back to sandwich. <laughs> and you wanted me to put it between an egg and steak? Are you, okay, no, you know what? The customer's always right, sure, whatever. Uh, let's see here, egg, we can just uh, boop. That's the stuff, and steak. Now it doesn't say if you want the steak cooked, so I'm just gonna assume that's a no. The egg looks a little brown around the corners, so probably something like that. And then ring, and then hunk of raw meat. Okay, more bread, boop. We're good. Oh, that's great. Uh, one more thing, though. I wanted to have some romantic music playing while I do it, but I forgot to burn this disc. Could you burn it for me? To show affection for one another, humans of the past would burn music onto primitive storage devices called discs. The details of the burning procedure have largely been lost to history, but it must have had something to do with heat. Oh, God, you stupid, stupid robots. Oh, you want me to put in a toaster? I swear to God, if I put in one and it pops out as two, it's just, uh... I'm pretty sure that would, yeah, that would start a fire. Oh, that would be perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, make sure you load the disc into the boombox and hit play before you send out that sandwich. I'll take care of things from there. Before. Got it. Okay. So, that shouldn't be too difficult. I'm not going to be needing that. There we go, and... Come on. Piece of crap. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Don't look at me like that. I'm just gonna... Well, Timmy's still going What's strong. This, my dear? My sandwich feels much heavier than usual. It's the raw steak. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder if there's something different inside? Yeah, it's uncooked. What, what do you mean? What, uh, what's this? My sweet... I... Emotion... You... Will you enter a legally binding partnership with me? Oh, of course! I'm the happiest bot in the world! Oh, wow! The answer was affirmative! The answer was affirmative! The answer was affirmative. So affirmative that they just ran straight through the door. <laughs> they left the ring! But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Job Simulator, guys. And I really wanted to say at the end of this episode, thank you guys so much for supporting this series. Like, over the past few weeks, making all these episodes of Job Simulator has been some of the most fun that I've had recording in a very long time. Like, I try to get a video up every day, and I have fun making all of my videos, but there's definitely some days where I just don't want to play a certain game, or I just don't feel like recording. But Job Simulator is always hilarious. It's always so entertaining and amusing for me. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for supporting it, and I can't wait to be playing more. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.